Okay, we're here today in Mr. Rodriguez's class because we're dissecting a pregnant rat. And we're going to learn how to explore ourselves on like the rat's intestines and figuring out where the baby fetuses are at. And it's like an independent learning type of thing because it's just Mr. Rodriguez after school labs. Okay, so, and you are... First, doing what? Do you oh, read we, a book? We, we watch the video or we click the, the, the guideline uh -huh. on how to do it and then you just follow step by step with the rat. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you, are you interested in anatomy or? Yeah, I'm taking honors anatomy hopefully next year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're interested in getting ahead, yeah. so to speak. Can we talk about that? Yes. Okay. What classes do you have right now related? Um, I have no classes that I take related to this, but I'm really interested in forensics and <laughs> Okay, are you a senior? No, I'm a sophomore. <laughs> sophomore. Okay, excellent. All right, my dear. Appreciate you. We're supposed to cut off the skin. No, Put like it down. This. Uh, this is me, bro. Put it like sideways, oh, like like this. Don't look at it. I like it. It pins in more. Because if you put them up straight, it's not going to. Who doesn't actually? I think it would be too much. Oh, yeah. I can you bring it closer to the camera? Can you bring it closer to the camera? Or get a treat? So basically, that's what's inside the rat. And I don't see no baby. Where's the baby? Here. Where? Where? Okay. Oh! They look like grapes, right? They look like grapes. You might want to rinse that right out. It's got too much water. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 No, it is just... Um, like a, an incision in the middle. Yeah, you, cut, you massage the rat. Uh -huh. and then Why? Grab, Why? So you can find out like the extra skin uh -huh. it has. And then once you get that, you can cut it and start taking off the skin slowly. And then once you have enough skin taken off, you can make a small incision where the muscles and tendons are at and you can cut it open. Okay, now does it have to be in a particular direction or can it be just, you know, like a Y incision or vertical, horizontal? Horizontal mm -hmm. incisions? Well, that's what I did. Uh, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the rat can't go that way. Okay. I want to like, take out. Take here we have the small intestine. So you can. And over here we have what's left of the stomach. We have the liver. And on top of the liver you have your lungs. And then I just pulled out all the fetuses. Mommy, is that you? <laughs> Hi, my name is Mr. Rodriguez. I am the Osaka High School Honors Anatomy teacher. Um, I, I had this idea years ago to have a lab where we, the students were able to experiment and learn on their own uh, without, a, without a guide for me. I, I'm here as an instrument for them if they need, have questions uh, as far as anatomy parts. Uh, but as far as them exploring, they're free to explore. We, we have the pregnant rats. They, they can explore, they explore the rats. They can dissect. They can take the embryos out, they can look at the heart, they can look at the liver, at the lungs, um, kidneys. They can explore the spinal part and the muscles. We, we start off with sharks actually the first time, uh, four years ago. And then initially it was for seniors only. 
And I built a lot of confidence in, in the students that we have, and I opened it up to junior the next day, next year, and now I've had it open to, last year I went to include a sophomores. Um, this year I'm actually going to include ninth graders also from the ninth grade center. They'll be coming over here and doing a lab next week also. Um, I, I really believe in independent learning, and these kids, I, I've actually been very impressed by the quality of kids that we have. Initially I was afraid of doing this. Um, and there was just so much fear of people would have, the kids would have a, start playing around with the parts and throwing them at each other. Uh, most of these kids, I do not know them myself. They're not my students. They're, they're students from other teachers, and they want an opportunity to learn from, some, they want an opportunity to learn, and they can't get in the class they have now, but they can get it through my class. And through a grant that we got, that's what I'm doing now. Okay, uh, one question for you, Mr. Rodriguez. Do you get anything out of this uh, lab other than you know, the knowledge and... I, what, what I get... No, the kids. The, the, what the kids get from this lab is they, they develop teamwork, which is a big thing for me. They, they learn to organize themselves. They learn to delegate activities also. Uh, there's, there's, there's a chemistry part of it. And my goal by getting underclassmen in, including the ninth graders, the 10th graders is, once they get to the main campus, they get to take the higher level classes. Uh, well, it'll motivate them to take higher level classes. And once they're the higher level classes, they'll know what they're doing and they'll be able to organize other, other students too. So it's kind of a scaffolding thing. The, the more they learn, the more they can teach. So they become teachers themselves. That's my big, one of my biggest goals. I, I want to create leaders. Perfect. Uh, so they don't get extra credit or No, no th th that's one of the comments that I have here. There is no extra credit for this. They, they have no bonus points. Uh, again, none of my students don't do this lab that I have for this class, for my own anatomy class. We do that separately. Uh, so these kids are here on their own exclusively, 100% exclusively. There is no, no credit restoration. It's just because they want to be here and enjoy it. And they want to learn. And they want to learn. And some of these kids may be thinking about careers in, in the medical field. Um, and they may decide after this, yes, I do want to do this. Or they may actually learn, no, I don't want to do this. So either way, they're learning something from this. Yes. All righty then. Well, thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you, guys. Thank you, you are Ms. awesome. You're awesome.